this is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by victorious Lewis Bowden. Lewis, congratulations. Ring sting. Ring, ring sting. sting. The announcer didn't say a ring sting. I was All so right. upset. Even when you won, they didn't say ring sting? I don't know. I blacked out at that right. point. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, that's the... Uh, Tonight's a moment where you remember for the rest of your life. Winning a boxing match on what, however we have like two, three weeks training in your hometown, everyone chanting your name, that's something quite special. Yeah, it was crazy. And you know, I, I was saying I've been hiding this all week, but like um, last Saturday, I think it was, I did my knee and I was like, shit. Um, so I was bed bound for two days. Luckily, a KO, we have like a good physio there, sorted me out. Uh, Bill was a legend, keep me calm, <laughs> coach, throughout the whole week. Whilst I was had the little doubts thinking, Jesus, I can't walk here. How am I going to fight in a few I days? I saw time? you walk through the media room and you're kind of wobbling before the fight like this. Yeah. And I was um, like, oh no. I was hiding a limp all week, genuinely. I was, and that's why I was like, fitness, I'm done, because I've not been able to do any like sort of normal tapering down. It's just right. been physio, but you know. Um, Luckily, we got it done. It was just when George kept coming at me and coming forward. I was like, leave me alone, please. <laughs> and luckily, it stayed strong. It was good. So how long to that knees better? It, it, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we, it was just like more managing it, getting it strong enough for today. And now we'll I'll rehab it properly. Um, but it's fine. We got here. I, I, I worried over nothing. <laughs> well, I saw you before the fight in the hotel with the nurse building then. Were you still pretty calm? Nah, do you know what? I was too calm. And, uh, you were already said, calm. I was quite surprised. Mate, I've been too, this whole week, I've just been having so much fun, but Bill got me a bit more hyped up before right. I went in, which I needed, because like, if I went in just all chill and relaxed, I would have just been, oh, oh I'm in a fight. Um, but yeah, I was just way too relaxed. <laughs> but it's just been so much fun, mate. As I say, I genuinely took annual leave for this. This is my holiday. I've just been having a great time talking to this. I'm going back to work tomorrow. It's, uh, it's crazy. You go back to work a hero. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a video that goes out with everyone clapping when you get back into the office. Yeah, I've not been able to watch anything back at the moment because I'm too busy trying to piss into a cup. <laughs> I can't do VADA testing. Yeah. Every, uh, every fighter struggles with this. Yeah. It's uh, more harder than the fight sometimes. I'm, yeah, it is. It's just I'm not, I don't need a piss, but I'll keep drinking. I'll get a beer in soon enough, and I, I can't wait to watch it back. What did you think, anyways? I was actually, honestly, I was actually very, very impressed at how you kept your shape very well. Your hands weren't down. You kept yeah, the shape very good. That's that man over I know. there. Bill, Bill Judd, KO. Bill sorted me out just before I went out as well. <laughs> so get that up there. Um, and the blocking as well, when you were catching it like this. Yeah, well, that's not something easy to learn in a, like two weeks. Do you know? It, it was more uh, Sto- defense. Well, I was impressed by as well. Actually. Yeah, Stokey really. That's. I, I was really focused on that because I kept getting caught with that and sparring. And uh, Stokey kept going for that big right, and he wasn't really setting up. So if he set it up, he might have actually got me. But it was just more. So I was getting used to it a little bit. But I was happy. I was happy I didn't get caught because in sparring. Already. Man, <laughs> all the time. What was it like when everyone's chanting your name and your hand got raised today? Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Do you know what? The nerves did come in a little bit in the ring because I looked across at George, right? And I was like, he looks really, really confident. <laughs> I was like, this guy, this guy, he knows something I don't. Um, so fair play to him. But I tell you, the, the crowd does like pay a big advantage. Oh, like, like, I'm there really tired and he's coming at me and like you hear the crowd and stuff and it, it does pick you up. Like, it was unbelievable. And then the music at the end when I won and everyone cheering and then everyone breaking in behind scenes. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is what Misfits needs. We need some Geordie madness in here no. and we brought it um, i interviewed everyone after the fight and they were all saying that you should fight bevo next yeah i want bevo man because i like george but bevo's a bit of a tit um and the danny fight's gone you need the thing with bevo is his ego so huge he'll he'll be like oh, who is this guy who is this guy but look I'm a, I'm a good fight for him if he wants to get into this if he's not just talking about it for a bit of attention i've, I've done it but you know he can come in. He has a bit of background in it, I believe. He's trained a little bit before he had to pull out against Danny, so it makes sense. Name a better fight for Bevo than me. I know. I can't even think of one off the top of my head. I'll, I'll mention it to Mams. Yeah. And we'll see what we can do of it, but no. BUS Bevo would be good. Um, anything else you want to add before we wrap us up? We've got to go piss in this bottle. You're a legend. Um, if I see any nerds giving it to George, um, what he did is like pretty mental at that age. 18, years old. 18 four weeks in Newcastle. Like, the half you little nerds, if you go going at them, would not dare do that because I was absolutely bricking it. And I had home advantage, um, bricking it when I got in the ring, I should say. Before, and I was just enjoying it. Um, but no, big credit to him, man. That's wow, all my phone's saying. going off. You're busy, man. Oh. Shout out Lulu, who called me. Um, okay, one more thing then. We'll see you fight again. Yeah, well, if, if people want me, man, I've had a great week. I've just, you know, everyone's very serious, but I just, I, I, I'm just chilling, man. I had a great time. If people want me back, 
I'm back. I did this as a thing to challenge myself. I'm happy to keep going, man. I'm going to keep boxing. I know that for definite. So the Fellas Studios have their first Mrs. Boxer. Yeah, man. We're here to take over. The Pitch Side Patrol are here. You saw us take over this venue. We crashed the venue. We should have been on after L. No, not really. L's going to smash it. When's she on? I'm excited. Uh, main for event. You watching? Yeah, I, well, I'm going to still be here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Drinking yeah. more. You'll probably still be here, but I'll probably be fin done working the time you're finished. But yeah, the, the rest of the boys are all going out now, but they're very, very pleased. Yeah, they, they're yeah, all. did a good interview of all of them. It was very chaotic, but it'd be funny watch. <laughs> they're all very, very drunk. They were so oh, yeah, drunk. Okay. Yeah, Tom Garrett accidentally kissed me girlfriend. So he went to kiss her on the cheek, and oh, she yeah. went to kiss him on the cheek in the kiss. So, she, so I'm calling out Tom Garrett yeah. for stealing me last. I knew that was going to happen. It was either my girlfriend, my dad, or my mum who was going to steal. Yeah. It depends what. And Tom Garrett's got a girlfriend as well. Yeah, it just depends what stage of drunkness he's in. You know, is he going to go for my mum, my girlfriend, my dad? Nothing's off the cards, baby. Right, Tom Garrett, unpredictable. But yeah, Lewis, well done on the win tonight. Thank you. And yeah, Thank I'll you. see you uh, very, very soon. When you get when you get Spike Guest announced, we're doing another one of these. Yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> let's keep this series going. Fred and Lou. Fred and Specs. <laughs>